How cool is that, man? Look at this, we go down here. All right, guys, how you doing? My name's Si, this is Task Force Vlogs. Welcome to the channel. We're off on another adventure today. We just discovered an RAF abandoned military base place, and it was sick. And uh, there was an underground bunker and stuff. We couldn't go onto the property, though, because it's fenced off. So we're off to a new place today, sort of similar. Still, we're sticking with the RAF theme. Um, here's some history about it. RAF Binbrook was a Royal Air Force station now closed, located in the Binbrook, Lincolnshire, England. RAF Binbrook was opened as a bomber commander station June 1940 during the Second World War and home to number 12 Squadron RAF, with Vickers Wellington Mark IIs and threes between the 3rd of July 1940 and 25th of September 1942, before it moved to RAF Wickenby. The station closed as a main operating base in the 1980s, although it continued as a relief landing ground for RAF Scampton into the early 1990s before eventually closing and all military activity ceasing. It was subsequently sold off for development. The control tower and adjacent fire section were demolished in 1995 in the mid 90s. Lincolnshire Police and Humberside Police used the site to teach riot control techniques to its police officers. As of 2012, the majority of the accommodation blocks have been demolished. The hangars and officers used as industrial estate, housing many businesses. The flight line is fenced off and used for storage of mainly ex military equipment awaiting resale. The married quarters are private housing, former of New Village of Brookenby. There is also a memorial to 460 Squadron, the RAAF, consistent of a memorial, plaque and benches around the former Ident Square. RAF Binbrook was also home to the famous film set Memphis Bell. In the summer of 1943, a fierce battle raged in the skies of Europe. So that's the crew of the Memphis Bell, huh? They're just ordinary men, Colonel. They fly 24 missions without a scratch. That doesn't sound very ordinary to me. Kilometer checking in. Assume positions for takeoff. It was a time when boys became soldiers. Sir, that's the third rank down there. 30 seconds to bomb run. You've never done this before, have you? Why? Am I doing something wrong? Strangers became brothers. I know that I shall meet my fate somewhere among the clouds above. Look out, look out! They got the rookies. Smile? What is there to smile about, sir? You guys have finished 24 missions. One more and you get to go home. That sure make me smile. Target for today is Bremen. Matthew Modine and Eric Stoltz. I know you want to drop the bombs and get the hell out of here. We asked these boys to become men. If we don't do it, somebody's gonna have to come back here again and do it for us. We asked these men to become heroes. Get out of the way! But whatever the danger, whatever the odds, it's our job, ours, nobody else's. Come your doors open. We asked them to come home again. <laughs> Memphis Bell, an extraordinary adventure. This was a 1990 war action film that lasted 1 hour and 47 minutes and it was aged 12. In 1990, British American war drama film directed Michael Caton Jones and written by Monty Merrick. Memphis Bell's a Boeing B-17F Flying Fortress used during the Second World War that inspired the making of two motion pictures, a 1944 documentary, Memphis Bell, A Story of Flying Fortress and the 1990 Hollywood feature film Memphis Bell. It was one of the first United States Army Air Force B-17 heavy bombers to complete 25 combat missions, after which the air crew returned the bomber to the United States to sell war bonds. In 2005, restoration began on the Memphis Bell at the National Museum of the United St States Air Force at Wright-Patterson AFB in Dayton, Ohio, where since May 2018 has been on display. The B-17 used in the 1990 feature film is housed on the National Warplane Museum in Geneseo, New York. Now also an interesting fact about the Memphis Bell, my dad in the 80s or 90s played an extra and he got paid 15 or 20 pounds a day just to be an extra. So you go there, put on the RAF outfit and just walk around and you get paid for it. So that was pretty cool. And these, this is a photo of my dad took. This is the film producer, David Putnam. Now, Lord Putnam, 
uh, is posing for my dad here in the photo. He's a nice guy, and here is me with another pal. This is from my dad's words. Uh, American actor Sean Astin. You might re uh, recognize him from The Goonies. Uh, it's the son of John Astin who played Gomez in the Adams Family. So, there you go, guys. Pretty awesome. So, there's a lot of history here, including from my family. So, now we're going to go take a look around ourselves. Uh, we'll see what we get there. actually arrived on the base and this is now all fenced left. off but we will be able to get in somewhere and see some stuff it says Brookenby Park House RAF that's the Gibson block I have no idea where I am everywhere is like sort of fenced off and closed off so I'm gonna park up and just do it on foot. See if we can find anything, man. Look. You've got the guard room there. I do remember this place. Me and my mates used to come here about 12, 13 years ago before some business parks and stuff took over. And we was playing in the buildings and stuff. Police used to chase us off all the time. The Royal Air Force Base there, Binbrook it says. You can see there, there's actually another air raid shelter slash bunker that we can't actually get in at the minute. A little vent out the top there. That's pretty cool. And again, we're surrounded by security and fences, but no idea where I'm going. This looks dodgy, let's try this. <laughs> so, there's actually no cameras around here. And there's a big enticing hole in the fence. So I'm just gonna see what's around the corner. And then maybe we'll be able to see what's in this old building. Okay, there's actually a pathway down here. So, I feel like less of a criminal going through here. But urban exploring, it's a civil matter, it's between you and the landowner. So, I feel a bit better knowing that. Let's have a look in here. I thought there was some shells or some planes and stuff kicking about here. We're going to have to have a look in a minute. Well, that's quite the door. And down. front door that was barred off. Creepy hallway. Oh damn man. Goes all the way over to the other side. Look at this. Whoa. A dead mouse or a rat. I don't really want to be in here too long. I want to explore for the um, the actual jets and stuff, but look at this. Here we go down here. Okay, this is maybe the shower block. 
Oh, these were definitely the toilets. And it comes back out onto the creepy hallway. Hell. No. Nope, that's the basement. I didn't bring a torch. I had to get mad. Some graffiti on the wall there you don't want to see. It's a big empty room again. Oh man, what do you think of this building, guys? This is crazy. I'm not sure about going upstairs, I don't know how safe it is. This is the upstairs, more toilets. Damp everywhere, it's raining last night. More toilets. Definitely like a toilet or a shower block or something like that. More big empty rooms. Store cupboards. This. These are the other stairs that we see. Have a look at this last room. Damn. All right. I think that'll do. Push him on up in here 10-15 minutes. So let's get out of here and see if we can find some more. Alright, we've come back down the creepy corridor and there's actually a door open, so that's all by the book. Okay. Look at this man. I wonder what this building was. I'm thinking shower room, toilets or something like that. There's a lot of toilets in there. And then big open rooms as well, so I'm not sure. Oh, I think this leads to the hole in the fence that I've seen. Yeah. Alright, cool. Alright, that was sick to actually get in a building like that. I was really like going through there at night time with a torch. Might be a Halloween thing or something that I do. That was insane. And that basement. I'll probably have to bring some more back though. One, stop me pooping myself. Two, <laughs> just in case because you don't know old buildings, unstable, all that stuff. Hole in fence there. Don't know what's through there though. I don't see any planes or anything. Alright guys, hopefully that's not it. Let's um let's go have a look a bit more around. That one there I think is in the shape of a fire station. Like an old fire station. Everywhere's fenced off again. We didn't get a sick air raid shell, but we got an abandoned building, which is pretty cool. So let's keep on moving, look in there. That'd be so dangerous. Not sure if that's get used or not. It just looks like old plasterboard and things like that. This is where people are dumping the stuff from the work sites. I don't want to be in here breathing too much of this in, so... Some big new lights in there. 
they might still use it. There's the other side of that like radio tower. What does that say? Steampunk accessories, unique objects. Yeah. They probably dismantled everything from here and just repurposed it. And again on this side, tons of buildings, big old fence and some security cameras, so can't do much. Royal Air Force bin brook, there you go guys. That is um, a full circle there, full tour round. Like I said, shame we couldn't get any more. I, I swear there was some shells off planes. I'll have to look into it if I see some. I'll get on Google Maps in a minute and I'll come back in. That bomber command, we shall remember them. Runway gate one. Look at these old fire engines, man. Look at that. I was actually on my way out, but I found it. I'm not sure what the deal is here. How cool is that, man? What plane is that? Put it in the comments. I have no idea what plane that is, but that is so cool. This is a 1940s World War II airbase. Abandoned, but that is cool, man. Look at that, man. I mean, that's pretty cool, man. Hell yeah, I knew there was stuff like that. I thought there was some more, but I'm not sure. I can have a little drive around and check, but that's so sick. But yeah, I think that's it for the vlog, guys. So, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.